Hey, what's going on guys? So my name is Ipe. I've been doing the lead generation business over the last eight years. I made well over seven figures doing it. I know quite a lot about about it. I've also done affiliate marketing. So, you know, I get this question all the time, like what is the difference between lead generation and, and affiliate marketing? So in this video, I'm gonna explain uh, very, very quickly. Just lead generation to me is, you know, you're ranking and building websites in the local space. So whether that be uh, a city or a town, uh, it could be anywhere you live or it doesn't even matter if you live there or not. Um, and you're generating a lead for a local service, you know, like whether that be a plumber, roofer, uh, some contractor. And, you know, the reason why it's so dope is because you're not dealing with, you know, thousands of affiliate marketers. Like the competition is much, much less, you know, um, you get to be a big fish in a little pond. Whereas with affiliate marketing, you, you know, there's one offer and you're competing with thousands of affiliate marketers all over the world. And, um, you know, with local lead gen, there is an aspect of having to talk to a business owner, which most, most affiliate marketers aren't willing to do because a lot of affiliate marketers are based in Russia, China, India, some of these other countries where, you know, English is not their first language. So these individuals are going to stick to affiliate marketing. Like, you know, all you need is a link, right? So they're not going to go into local lead gen. So it keeps a lot of those people out, which makes, you know, local lead gen much less competitive. Um, we only have to beat out 20 to 30 local companies. Most of these companies, they don't know what they're doing on the internet. They're not like savvy market internet marketers, like affiliate marketers, they're local companies, right? And many of these business owners never grew up with the internet. So your skill level, when you're dealing with the skill level of these like local market and uh, the websites that you have to outcompete and be in the rankings, the skill level is much, much less. Um, so it's much easier to rank, much easier to start generating leads. And yeah, and because of that barrier to entry of like affiliate marketers, they don't want to talk to business owners that's a that's a great thing because our business is like quite lucrative like you know i have any one of our lead gen sites make anywhere from 500 to 2000 dollars a month and that's mostly all 95 percent profit margin so and it's like you know a fraction of the time to like rank these sites if affiliate marketers knew that it was this so much easier to do lead, local lead generation versus affiliate to make, you know, a small percentage commission on a affiliate marketing offer. Like many, many more of them would be getting into local lead gen space. And the reason why they don't though, again, is the fact that there's an element to have to speak to a business owner. Now, if you're somebody that's worried about that aspect of having to speak to a business owner, this is where Dan Klein, my mentor, innovated on this, which is that we use a call, call tracking software where it attaches a whisper message at the beginning of every call. So every time I generate a lead for a small business owner, it'll say, this lead was sent to you by ePay at the beginning of every call. So what we do is we'll send these free leads to these business owners for like a few days. And then by the time I reach out to them, I call them, hey, I'm ePay. I'm the one that's been sending you all these leads. The business owner is already excited and interested in, in, in working with me. So I don't, you know, doing sales is not as difficult as it, as it may seem on the outside uh, looking in. So this is what a lot of affiliate marketers don't understand. Uh, you know, a few other reasons why I don't like affiliate marketing as much uh, is that um, most of the time you are completely dependent on, you know, how trendy that offer is. And a lot of time those, those trends, you're, you're using a lot of hype, a lot of, um, yeah, basically a lot of hype to promote those products. And, and a lot of the affiliate offers, I didn't feel good about promoting them because I knew it was like kind of a, not, I don't want to say quite a scam, but for, so for example, it, it'd be like a scam. Uh, anti-wrinkle skin cream is one of the affiliate offers that this whole program of like five like three thousand affiliate students were promoting but i mean the clearly the skin cream was bs right it just had really good marketing so like it used a lot of fake before and after pictures of people that had like massive wrinkles and then reversing it but like those were not real before and after pictures you know what i mean so it uses it used a lot of deceptive marketing to promote 
the product. And, and that's what I kind of find with aff affiliate marketing is that there is a lot of um, deceptive marketing that takes place in that space because then it, because affiliate marketing is so competitive and so cutthroat, it becomes all about increasing the CTR and increasing the conversion as much as possible. And these affiliate marketers, they don't, they don't really care. They don't, they don't have to stand behind a product because you're promoting somebody else's product anyway. So they they can be a lot more ruthless and cutthroat in marketing and, and, and be quite hypey and, 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 I don't know, a bit scuzzy in the in the marketing message, all in the name of increasing conversion. So um, after a while, like I have some affiliate marketing experience, but I just didn't feel good about promoting these products. Whereas with local lead generation, you can feel proud about doing what you do because you're helping small business owners survive. Like our leads quite literally help them stay in business. So, you know, they really appreciate us and 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 they pay us on time on a monthly basis. Um, so yeah, and, and, and that's, what's great. And, um, uh, but the biggest, you know, the biggest takeaway is like affiliate marketing, you need to generate a lot of traffic to generate decent income because you're dealing with like, you know, lower commission and, um, and it's a challenge to generate all that traffic. Um, affiliate marketing works well. If you already have like a personal brand, like you're like a blogger or a, um, influencer or a uh, YouTuber that already has an audience, then affiliate marketing is much, much easier because you already have something that you're passionate about that you enjoy talking about. And then you, you have built an audience, right? Whereas, you know, if you don't have that, then you try to just go into and promote an offer like a weight loss offer or a skin anti skin cream offer. And you try to build that audience. Like you're not even passionate about it. Like how are you going to create an organic audience about skin cream if you yourself is not passionate about it. And let's just say, even if you were to like create a blog about it, if that skincare company or what have you, they stop paying their affiliates well, or they stop, their product just stops being popular, then I don't know, you might have to switch your niche, niche completely, which means you have to kind of start over. So there's a lot of risk in like trying to build an affiliate offer and build your entire like content marketing behind one offer when that offer is not under your control. If you're gonna put in that much of a hard work to create an uh, interest about a particular niche like weight loss, skin cream, ketogenic diet or what have you, then in my opinion, like you're much better off just like creating your own info product that way you have like a lot more control and you have like 100% profit margin instead of only making like 30% profit margin in my opinion, right? If you want to get into that sort of like info kind of business, um, I know they say that affiliate marketing is great because there's, you know, you don't have to create your own product, but, and so they promise that it's easy to get into, which technically it is because anyone can grab an affiliate link, but just because it's easy doesn't mean it's great long-term. A business, you don't want a business to be too easy for anybody to get into like an affiliate marketing because it's so easy for anybody to get that link which means you're competing with so much more people because anyone can grab that link now you have to compete with people from russia uh, from china that can also grab that link and compete with you so this is what makes affiliate marketing one of the most saturated online business models out there local lead generation not saturated at all because there's that human element where we have to actually form relationships with a small business owner which seems like a nuisance for a lot of people outside looking in but once you actually get used to it get in the business it's actually one of the best things about the local legion business because it keeps a lot of the people out of the business all right so i hope you guys like the video those are the main differences between the lead generation business model and affiliate marketing now if you're interested in the lead generation business model which in my humble opinion is way better business to get into for most people uh, to achieve success on the internet we have a link in the description that take that'll take you to our coaching program uh, 7,000 students we're, we're the best coaching program out there for the lead generation business so hope hope to see you guys soon peace